Get, look at this guy. <laughs> he's like, mommy's like, don't do that. It's, you mean like this? You mean like this? You mean don't fall like that? Yeah, it's so important that people do testimonies because um, it's not for us, you know. Because of course we know what we do works, but it's like when, like every week I get to tell my testimony, right? Hey, I had this, I overcame it, I won. And I just think claiming and telling the story of how you beat it, how you're doing better, just solidifies it, you know, versus there's something when you speak out and say, I was here, but now I'm here. And that's the testimony by their Ted. They stand on their testimony. It's almost like the decree, like the I am healing, that I am healing. That's a decree that I am healing. I have won. What's up? Did she tell you that they had some amazing testimony? Great. Boom. Because it's very important for the person to declare they are healing. Oh, yeah. That's part of that. It's like in that hero thing, you know, the 99% is the doing, but the, the be becoming the hero is saying I am. And so that, that's the, that unlocks the full hero potential is when someone's declared. It's not that I said you're better. It's like when they say I am better. That's full hero mode. So testimonies, that's the, if that's the only reason why we do it, so is they declare I am better and I, that's, it's worth everything. Awesome. So you gotta find your media. So you have this passion, you have this story. So here's the thing, how are you gonna tell me how are you going to tell my kids? How are you going to tell someone in, in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, this, your story? How are they going to hear it? Are you going to write it? Is it going to be on a video? Is it going to be an audio? So now you're just going to tell me what's your vehicle that you love or you prefer? I prefer video. There you go. So you're, you're a video slash speaker, which is the best to do. Why? Because when you do later on many videos, it's easy to get them transcribed and edited to a little booklet or pamphlet or blog. So and you possess all the materials to make a huge impact. And you know what, share the journey of it. Like the, when we document stuff, I'm documenting the journey, it's not created. So you get to see the blueprint, the ups and the downs, or the, the battles and the wins. So it gives yourself permission to do the same. That's all, yeah. someone asked me the other day, you either have this thing all figured out or you really, or you really just start going through the journey. I'm like, yeah. I'm just, I don't have it figured out. So even though it looks like that, we're just having fun and it keeps me accountable. So if you know you have to get in front of that video every day, you will start to trust life and you'll pay attention to life and be present to all the beautiful stories and guidance God has given you through people, through events, through, through wins and losses. And you'll really appreciate the beautiful life you've been given and how your message does help people and there's so many other people that feel broke as well because it's a conversation no one wants to have because if you have it, you don't want to seem ungrateful. If you have it, you're, but you're not ungrateful. You're just grieving. You're grieving this next part. So like it's your turn. God created you to do this message to the world and the comfortable you wants to keep you comfortable. And that's, that's so you can either be comfortable. You can either go back to the comfort and torment or you could actually you could become the full expression of your genius and give it to the world that has been looking for and praying for and waiting for the true authentic version of you. It's amazing, like I see myself not as a chiropractor anymore. I see myself as a keynote speaker. It's like just here. Right. It's, you know what I mean? It's weird, it's still the same dinner talk, but it's like. Like you go in it with like a different energy on it. Dude, it's. That's like good. I, I own the crowd. Like I could, I could walk wherever I want. I could turn my back to you. It doesn't matter. Like all the rules could be broken. You know, I don't want to leave those people in the back. I leave them out. But you know, you have to throw all the bullshit that, oh, you need to be on the left side of the room and exist, the right side of the room and exist. You know, how about like, if you're just that damn good, 
doesn't matter what side of the room you're on. You know what I mean? That's the thing. I, and then clearly, I, I switched it out when I was a side. Timmy D got some chicken. Yeah, dude. Like, this food is so good. Oh, man. It's great. I hope that that place is great. See how big it can be. I really do like that place. Sometimes you don't see it. But what you can do is say, well, what do I do that excites me? What do I do that that recharges me? Who do I hang out with? And when we get together, like our conversation ignites us. What do we have in common? Who's our favorite superhero, actor or sports? But why? What are, what are the characteristic and qualities that they have that is really a mirror image of me? A lot of people work and they always say this. Well, I'm working really hard because then someday they're going to do this. So, okay, so what are you working hard to do? Well, someday I'm just gonna go be able to serve this or do this or open up this house or that. And they, they, tell, they tell you this great thing that they wanna do, but they're, they're saying, I just gotta eat crap for a while and, and get this money when they could be doing it right now. I would love to sing, I would love to play this. And just whatever that is, but something in their life told them, that's just, you're not gonna make a living off that. And so they kind of just say, you're right and then those dreams are destroyed. They're not just destroyed, I think, I don't think the, the dream gets destroyed, I think it's suppressed, and it's stuffed so deep down, it feels like it's destroyed, but what people need to realize, it's still there. It never gets destroyed, because your spiritual gifts and talents and uniqueness can't be destroyed, but it's always still deep down inside there. And once someone realizes it is there, and despite what anybody said, or discouragements, or the, even the abuse they got through their life, that it never died, it's just dormant and now you just need to remember it. And once you remember it and you take a hold on it, and then it's scary because you're like, wow, I'm 40 years old. <laughs> you know, why didn't I realize this at 20? But you know what, at 40 you say, you know, just the happiness factor alone, or recharging myself, or having more energy and joy and fulfillment, despite all the other stuff, it still makes it worth it to, to pursue, remember, develop that, and then give it to the world. Hey guys, Great Weary Heroes. Make sure you go to my Instagram account. If you're not a follower, if you're not joining, you're missing out. Just go to at Dr. Zaino, D-R-Z as in zebra, A-I-N-O, and watch all the amazing stuff we have for you guys.